welcome to my channel. So today's video is how to get a long lasting full coverage face from the drugstore. So most of these products you guys have already known if you've been subscribed to my channel already. But if you're new here, these are products that are affordable and also my all time favorite products. So the first thing you want to apply when you want to get a long lasting full coverage face is a primer. So this one is actually my most affordable primer. It's from Essence and it's the Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. Healthy Glow Pore Minimizing Effect with Vitamin Complex and Cranberry Water. This is actually one of my favorite primers. It's this and the NYX Marshmallow Primer. But my face is feeling kind of dry right now and needs a little bit of a glow. So I want to just use this one. And this one's actually cheaper than the NYX one. This is like $3 where the NYX is like $15. So I will say this. This primer is a bit runny so you want to be careful. And I'm just applying this where I get the most oily. And that is in my T-zone. So my chin, nose, forehead. And then whatever is left I like to just bring it out to the rest of my face. So as you can see it gives a nice glow to the skin, gives me a little bit of highlight, but that's going to be covered up with the foundation, but this is going to help my foundation go on more smoothly, more flawlessly. My favorite foundation at the moment is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. This is also great because it does have an SPF at 25, so you can go out in the sun with this, and this is in the shade 445. So you want to shake this up. Foundation can be really, really runny. I also like to apply this on the back of my hand, so just a few pumps. Maybe about like two or three. And then to apply this, I like to use a beauty blender. So this is the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. And you could also apply this with a brush, but if you want more of an airbrush look, I would definitely go in with a sponge. And then I just like to start off at my chin and then work my way up. You could apply this however you want to, but this is just my favorite way of applying it. And I'm just looking down because I have a mirror right here. And you don't want to just be looking at a viewfinder in the camera when you apply your foundation. You really want to know where you're applying it and seeing where you've missed any spots. So a couple of tricks to not giving away that you're wearing foundation is to blend it into your hairline, blend it onto your ears, and then also blend it down your neck. And if you guys are wondering why I already am wearing eye makeup is because I'm doing a eye makeup tutorial and that would actually be up before this video. So I would definitely link it in the description and leave it up in the cards so you guys can see it if you're interested. So once you've applied your foundation, you want to go in with a concealer and I'm going to take my favorite Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer in the shade C5. So you just want to apply this where you want to conceal underneath my eyes. of my lip or head and I've got a tiny little spot on my chin. Then I'm going to go in with the pointed side of the sponge and just blend it out. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking the foundation side of the sponge and I'm just blending everything else out so it just looks so it looks more even. So I just went off camera and just did my brows. And for brows, I just used my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Chocolate. It's a very good brow pencil, definitely recommend it. So now it's all about setting your face. I don't have an affordable powder, so this is the only high-end one I'm gonna show you. And if you've been here since the beginning, it is Beauty Bakery's Flower Powder in the shade Translucent or Oak, what it's called. And and I just like to apply just a little bit and I apply this all over my face but I'm going to just show you how I do it. I do it in sections. So I like to set my under eye first. So I'm going to take my Real Technique setting brush and just pat it along my eye. And you want to pat this along. You want to pat this so you don't move any of the foundation and the concealer. You don't want to do that. I also like to pat this on the sides of my nose. And then I use the same powder all over the rest of my face, but I like to take my e.l.f. flat top brush. The rule's the same thing, you just want to pat it so you don't move any foundation. Remember, put it on your ears, down your neck, wherever you apply the foundation. So next you want to bronze slash contour the face and I like to take the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette and of course I'm going to take this bronze shade and actually this is in the shade Dolce De Leche. You just want to apply this where your cheekbones are, the hollows of your cheekbones. You want to go up and it just creates a shadow. So you apply this to your forehead, temples. 
Does anybody else have like baby hairs and, or curtain bangs and you get like that one piece of hair that's so stubborn it won't go away? You can apply it down the side of your nose too. And I'm just taking a bigger brush just to blend it out more so it doesn't look harsh. Next thing is blush, and then I'm gonna take my Makeup Revolution Vintage Lace Blush Palette. I'm gonna take the shade Brie. And to apply this, I'm taking my Real Techniques Stippling Brush. Not on the apples of your cheekbones, but kind of higher up. Just so your face looks a little bit more. It kind of makes it look like you've got like a little bit of a face lift if you put it right here. And the last thing you need for a perfect, long-lasting, full-coverage face is actually optional highlighter. And I'm taking the Wet n' Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Blossom Glow. So this is a pinky tone. My personal favorite is more of like a champagne highlighter, but this is actually beautiful. It doesn't go on pink. Just wanna apply it a little bit over the blush and next to it. And of course, you can build up the highlight if you so wish. So that is it guys, that is my full face, full coverage face routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, it's a fun little group here. And don't, also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm not as active on TikTok, I'm trying to be. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.